Hey everyone, my name is Shrill and I'm a Scale Solutions Engineer here at Databricks. Today we're going to talk about setting up Unity Catalog volumes. Volumes in Unity Catalog allow you to access, store, manage, and process non-tabular data with Unity Catalog governance. Volumes allow you to access, store, and manage data in any format, whether that be structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. It unlocks new processing capabilities for arbitrary files, including data science and machine learning capabilities on the Databricks platform. There are two main types of volumes on Unity Catalog. The first one is managed volumes. Managed volumes store files in the default storage location for the parent schema. They are fast to set up, and there's no need to configure any extra cloud storage access and credentials. Managed volumes are convenient for adding new data and uploading files for quick data explorations. The other type of volume on Unity Catalog is external volumes. External volumes store files in an external cloud storage, such as S3, and you reference that path when you create the volume. External volumes are great if you're trying to access pre-existing data that already lives within your cloud storage. Now I will navigate over to my Databricks workspace and we will work on creating both types of volumes. So here I am on my Databricks workspace within my Unity Catalog section. I will go to my dev catalog and within the default schema, I will create my first external volume. I already have data within my S3 bucket that I want to ingest into Databricks using an external volume. So I'll click on the create button over here and choose volume. And here I will give my volume a name. I will simply call it unstructured data. And since this is an external volume, I will choose that volume type. And what it's going to do is ask me for an external location. I've already gone ahead and set up an external location. And if this is your first time doing so, you can follow our public documentation to set this up. And it's also going to ask me for the path to the actual S3 bucket where the files live. Within my S3 bucket, I have a dedicated folder for my unstructured data. So I will specify that path here and I will click the create button. So my external volume has been created. And if we take a look at our overview, we can see that the two files which live within my S3 have both been ingested here. It is a sample image file as well as a PDF file. If I navigate over to the details tab, we'll see that this volume type is an external and we can see what the actual storage location is, which matches what I have on my S3 bucket. Similar to any other data asset on UC, we can manage access control and permissions for users and groups to this external volume as well. Next, I'm going to navigate over to my prod catalog where I have gone ahead and set up a managed volume underneath my default schema. If we open this up, my managed volume is called libraries, and you'll see that I have a sample wheel file that I have stored on this managed volume. If I navigate over to my details tab, we'll see that this volume type is indeed managed and we can see what the underlying storage location for that is. Managed volumes such as this one are great if you want to incorporate any wheel files that need to be incorporated into any other downstream processes for CICD or if you want to install libraries on your clusters. And same thing as before, we can go to the permissions tab and grant permissions to any user or group to use this managed volume. And with that, we have set up both external volumes as well as managed volumes on Unity Catalog. Thanks for watching.